Muppet Show. Return to Joyville. In order to properly tell my story, I believe it is best that we start back at the beginning. For mine is a story whose end did not have to be. My father was the master of the local puppet theater. A man of greater talent you'd not find. So skilled was he that he was even able to give life to his creations. But alas, not everyone saw my father's creations as a source of joy and whimsy, but rather as a tool to be bent to serve the will of others. And it is here, in my father's theater, where my life would change forever. How is everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we're about to play Puppet Show Return to Joyville. And this is actually the fourth game in the series. Ah, uh, what can I say? I've played and recorded the previous three games. And I'll leave links to the playlist down in the description below. So if you're interested in finding out where we start the show, so to speak, you can go ahead and watch some of the previous videos. Hey, this dude just turned his head around. I've personally been a huge fan of the Puppet Show series. And in fact, I actually broke down and just bought the Collector's Edition because I was tired of waiting for the normal edition to get released. So there's a lot of extra stuff in the Collector's Edition here. Um, there's bonus levels, there's like wallpapers and screensavers and all sorts of crazy stuff. So I'll show that at the end of the game. But I think that's enough chit chat. Let's play some puppet show return to joyville we're gonna definitely play on the casual level because this is a casual game consider it a built of the guilty pleasure oh noisy and there she is she never changes her outfit would you like some interactive help? Of course I would. Thank you very much. You are a detective and your job is to change the past in order to prevent crimes in the future. Click on the woman. Felicia, it's getting late. Come on home now. Creepy. That's Felicia here in the purple. Spoiler alert. Oh, she is. Welcome to my life as it once was, detective. The little girl you see before you is in fact me. Or at least she was me, until the events that stole my youth. Look at me now, detective. Look at what I've become. But now there is a chance to set it right if you'll help me. I don't remember much of that awful night, only the flames that robbed me of my joy forever. Help me stop the fire that happened that night from occurring. But be careful, detective. Changing the past will change the future. Yours and mine. The road to my salvation begins here, detective. This is the home of my father, the town's puppet master. Go inside and warn him of what is to come. If you need proof, take a look at this. It is tomorrow's newspaper. <laughs> we'll meet again soon. Sweet, the Joyville Post. Fire at the theater. Ah, yes, very much so. I should warn Felicia's father by showing him this article. Okay, well, this is chapter one, and this one is actually called The Puppeteer's House. So let's give the adventure, folks. Important information will be recorded in your notes. Refer to them to get helpful clues and learn about the story. Let's open that up. Wow, I kind of like the way they've done this journal. It's kind of neat. So yes, if you haven't picked up from the intro here, we are returning back to before Felicia was the bad person uh, in the previous three games. 
Cursor will change to a magnifying glass when you can zoom in on an area. You may need to click within an area to interact. Wow, they're really getting into the details here. Yay, we found a cork. <laughs> I'm not sure why we need a cork, but... I'll have to keep an eye out for this missing girl. Hmm. How many missing girls are there? Click on the horn player sitting on the fence. Oh. Found objects are kept in your inventory. They will help you during your investigation. That's kind of clever. That's how you open the door. Wait, is that the little girl? Yep. So, yes, if you guys have never played a game like this before, it is a casual adventure game. Stick around and see what you think. Let me know what you think. And for those of you that are here because you've searched for this game, why not stick around as well? Because I've got probably over half a dozen of these types of games recorded on my channel already. I am a fan, so I will treat it with respect. This girl looks like a doll, or is it the other way around? Ooh, clever. It's a doll that looks like a girl. Wow, they've really done one heck of a job with these little movies here. That puppet looks positively lifelike. I found a latch knob. Let's talk to the puppet girl. Oh, we gotta undo her top? That's a little creepy. Oh, it just opens her chest. Ah, uh, there's a beetle stuck in the gears. I need to pull it out. I don't think I have anything to do that. No, okay, so we'll have to come back. And that's kind of the nature of these games, is typically you'll find an object like this, and you need some other object, and you have to go and find it and make your way back. Oh, it's a birdie. Uh, what do we have here? If I attach something to the handlebars, I can use it as a slingshot. Like a bra? What am I attaching here? I don't know. I need something to open the latch. Will a latch knob do it? Yes, it will. Why well, won't it work? Let's try that again. Weird. Oh, there we go. Sparkle indicates areas where you can zoom in and play hidden object scenes. Now, folks, this is what these games are all about. It's these hidden object scenes. You're going to find these scattered throughout the entire game. And basically, you can see the list is at the bottom here. We need to find the stuff. Okay, click on the lollipops. What? Oh, it's still tutorializing here. Some items are listed in different colors. These items require extra steps to find. X-ray. Sweet. If you need help, you can use a hint. However, another hint will not be available for 60 seconds. So I'll start off by saying right off the bat that I typically will use a hint. Or I'm not at least afraid to use a hint. Oh, look at this eyeball. That's kind of neat. What? A bowling ball. I'm not here to kind of max this game and get 100%. I'm here to entertain while we play the game together. And when it comes to these hidden object scenes, my strategy is a little perhaps different than most. I'm not even concerned necessarily with the list at the bottom for now. Uh, I'm curious, how do you guys play these scenes? For me, it's a, just a bunch of clicky clicky and clicking on objects that I think might be on the list. Um, this is actually a relatively difficult uh, scene right off the bat. Normally they're a little easier than this. but That's okay, we're really close to finishing up the list here. We need a fish skeleton and an ice skate. Alright, and there's a fish skeleton, so I don't need to use my hint. Alright, so now we have a tennis ball. Let's see what's in here. Ah, looks like we have a razor blade. I don't know why. That's a little dangerous leaving those lying around. There are three notches and only two riders. So another situation where I need to uh, find a couple objects there. Looks like a spring and a rider. Uh, how do I get up there? Okay, let's go in the house, I guess. 
Okay, well, oh, hello, Mr. Puppeteer friend. Uh, kind of a creepy house. Old. Ah, hello there. You must be the new assistant the theater was sending over. Would you mind fetching the paper for me? I don't think I'm your assistant. Oh, I guess I'm pretending to be. Here you go, friend. My apologies for the confusion, detective. What? This is tomorrow's newspaper? Yep. But how can that be? Who are you? How did you come to be here? This says that my daughter Felicia will be hurt in a fire. She will. No, I will not let this come to pass. My daughter is out playing right now. We need to find her quickly. She has a telescope in her treehouse. Maybe you can use it to find her. All right. Uh, let's see what we have here. Ow, oh, the handle on the stove is really hot. I don't think we have anything. We have a razor blade, which I don't think is going to do us much good. Oh, there's the glove. At least we don't have to go across town to find it. Oh, hey, look. It's the spider head. I guess someone wasn't a huge fan of the puppet design. I found a doll. Hmm. Seems real, somewhat random. I wonder if we're going to see more of spider baby head. Good times. Alright, so let's jump right into another hidden object scene. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. I thought it was. This looks like a puzzle. There's a slot on the table. It can be used to make an arrow. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, Archer has no arrow. Do I have everything I need to do this puzzle? Oh, I see. I gotta find everything first. Oh, this is clever. I think it's clever. Uh, it would have been helpful if it gave me a hint, though. The archer has no arrow. So I'm kind of... What am I trying to do here? To find these objects, perhaps? Sorry, I'm confused what I'm doing here. Okay, what? how does that help me? Am I supposed to put the moon there, maybe? Oh, oh. Neato. Okay, now what's the feather for? Um, <laughs> so they're linked like that, really. Where would I put a feather? Uh, this is all very confusing. So where does the arrow go? Here? Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. Wow, this is interesting. Very interesting. Creative, very creative. Um, we gotta make a broom, it looks like. The broom handle is needed. Oh, wow, what do we got here? Puzzle piece is missing. Okay. How do I get rid of this spider? Uh, hello. Now we have a broom. I think that's what we'll do to get rid of the spider. I've never seen a scene like this. See what I just did there? This is very, very interesting. Now... Okay, so probably have to put that on the mannequin over there. There's our key. I should find a key, yep. There's our puzzle piece. Put it over there. 
Okay, so now we have to do a puzzle, do we? How do we... Oh, wow, it's a slider like this, is it? Alright. Um... Sweet. No, wait, that probably has to go here. There we go. We did it. Yay! It's a fairy! She's got cherries! Wow, you look really lifelike. Okay, what was that anyways? Well done, you found a fader? It looks like a hot dog. I don't even know what that is. Oh well. What are we supposed to do here anyways? That's it? That's all you have to say for yourself? That was a very interesting scene, I must say. Grab the cane. Ah, oh, the cane. That reminds me of the cane from The Walking Dead. Episode number one. Uh, what else do we have here? I can no longer work on your team. Thank you for helping me through the terrible time when I lost my sight. I am grateful to you that I survived and now I have other goals and plans. Hmm. I think it's no secret that the reason for my departure is Ornelia Puppeteer Crix. I don't know who that is. No telescope. This picture's a little off, isn't it? The Joyville Post. Yeah, we know that already. Uh, what else do we... I think that's it. Step out for a second. Is there more here? Ah, elastic band. Okay, I think we're ready to go back outside, folks. So I think what we'll do here... Is we'll put the elastic band on here. And then we'll use the tennis ball. And then we will throw it. <laughs> awesome. How that knocked the ladder down? I don't know, but we're good. Alright, so before we do the telescope... Ugh, the doll stuck to the... I need to cut it away. I think we have a razor for this. Gross. That's so gross. How many dolls are we going to need? I think that's two dolls. Oh, hello! We have more puzzles. I don't know, do you think blue? Oh, some dolls are still missing. This looks like an interesting puzzle. Almost like a clock puzzle. About the same one. Uh, what else do we have in here? Origami. It reminds me of Heavy Rain. Whoever changed these drawings was not in a fit state of mind. Ah, but this is a clue. You see here? Look. Blue is number one. Green is number two. Red is number three. Oh, wow. Look at that. That one's on fire. It's teddy bears all angries. Okay, so there you go. Blue one. Green two. That's going to come up later, I'm sure. Oh, look, another doll. What the hell? Okay. But I need that doll first. Here we go. Uh, anything else in here? Creepy looking monkey. Alright, I don't know if this is going to be enough, but we'll try. Alright, here we go. Here's our first actual puzzle. Helpful information about how to solve the puzzle is displayed here. If you get stuck, you can skip a puzzle once the skip button is active. Um, help. What are we doing here? Place the dolls in the correct places. Place the doll. Okay, well that doesn't really help me at all. Uh, well, I assume blue is blue. I don't... Okay, so that one's locked in. Interesting. Uh, 
Okay. We have to kind of go in the tab, it looks like. Well, that doesn't go there. Oh, okay, okay, so that does not go there. We need winter one. So we have winter... So this must be fall here. That looks like something fallish. Um, this looks like something springish. Maybe flowers in spring too? Sure. Butterflies in spring? Summer? No? When the grapes come. It's a little finicky getting it in the right spot, but... Uh, I think that might be... No, summer maybe? I don't know what this is. Oh wait, are they actually patterned? They are patterned. Oh, okay. See that? See the dress on the doll actually goes there? So there is actually some rhyme or reason to this puzzle. Uh, that goes down here. So, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, we found the horse. There's a rider. Sweet. Now we have to go back. Yep, it's time to go back and put the rider in its place. Oh, it looks like we have another scene here, which is great. Start right into getting some more clicky clicky. Here we go. Whis whistle? Whistle while you work? Nope. Tic-tac-toe. Oh, that was neat. This creepy eyeball here is creepy. Alright, so let's go. Let's begin the journey. This is uh, quite a messy little area here. There's tweezers. I need that for something, I'm sure. Uh, what was that? A rune stone, huh? Looked like a mason sign. Without being a mason sign. Okay, so what do we need here? We need the slingshot. Cherries. Where were the cherries? There we are. And an owl. Which is a carpenter's tool. We found some tweezers. Beautiful. Um, well, I guess we could do this, right? Oh, but we don't have a spring. On well, there, I see it's telling us up here now what they're supposed to be. Okay, but we still need a spring. Yeah. Okay, let's step back then. She's probably gonna fork over a spring. How does that feel? That must feel much better. Uh, what is that? A jump rope? Okay. She's just gonna dance for me? Whenever I click on her? Yep. Her curtsy. Is that called a curtsy? Okay, let's step back here for a second. Oh. Uh, I think we still need to go to the front, maybe? Strange is no answer. I don't think we need to go to town. Let's we'll take a peek here for a second. Oh yeah, this is where she was. A lever. Hmm. I need something like a rope. I do happen to have a skipping rope. The firefighter needs his helmet first. Okay. I don't have a helmet for the firefighter. A fader. Hmm. Alright, so what else can we do back here then? Still need a spring. So what do we have? A lever. What's the lever for? Hmm. Or the cane. What do we need these for? I don't know. Do we... No. 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 Wow, kind of creepy tunes here. Is there nowhere else to go in this house? You'd think this house would be much bigger. 
So what else can we do here? Like, is this a lever? No. Cane? Oh, really? That's how you're supposed to do this? Um... I don't understand what... Oh, wait. Like this, maybe? You have to change the order of them. No, not quite. Kind of an interesting puzzle. We did it! And there's the fireman's helmet. Yay! That's it? That's all we get? Uh, okay. Hello, robot girl. Not too scary. I didn't know that that's what a fader was. Oh well. Okay, so we are ready to place the helmet on the head. And what else do we need? I wonder if this puppet has ever saved anyone's life. Ah. Uh, do we need like a cane or anything? No. Okay, let's start her up. Way to go, folks. Alright, well that's where we're going to end the episode. Right here in front. Thank you guys for watching. This is Puppet Show number 4, Return to Joyville, and I am your Gibbs. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye for now.